Hi, my name's Jeff Speck, and I'm gonna go show you around the Beloit College campus. With such little time and so much to shoot, I decided I'd take a walk. Founded in 1846, Beloit College was actually the foundation of Beloit, Wisconsin. I decided I'd take a walk around, talk to some of the student life. But first, I wanted to go ahead and get some video of all these great buildings that they have here. Most everything is from the 1800s. Here we have the Memorial this. Hall. This is, uh, actually it's connected to the back side of the Anthropology Museum. Museum. Here we have the Laura Here's Aldrich the Laura Nice Aldrich Theater. Nice Theater. And this is another beautiful building that was there. This one looked like it could have been erected in maybe the early 1900s. With classes getting underway this week, there's a lot of last minute registration. People moving into their dorms, finding out where their classrooms are. As some of you might know, Wisconsin is known as the Mound State. As you can see, there's a few mounds on campus. I'm a student at Beloit College in Wisconsin. And uh, Beloit is a small private liberal arts college. We have about, I think, 1,400 students. Yeah, it's like a four year university. There's no grad students. Um, I'm a philosophy major, and uh, yeah, I quite like it here. It's a small community to it, you know, everything is very close. You know, you can walk across campus in about 10 minutes, and that's, uh, you know, a good thing. And all the dorms are on the same side, and active buildings are on the other side. Is that a bad thing? That's good. That's okay. Um, I took a, uh, a class last semester in phenomenology, the philosophy which is like first-person conscious experience. Mm -hmm. It's like what it's like to have a mind and to know that you have a mind and to be aware that you have a body and to like walk around in the world and like, you know, touch things and experience things. It's very complicated, actually. I, I think that class kind of got me into 20th century philosophy, actually, because like we read um, Heidegger. He's a very important, like, like a really foundational thinker. Like he's, you know, every now and then in history, like really important thinkers come along who kind of redefine the questions that we're asking. And then usually people come along and like after a couple hundred years, like everything this original person thought was, you know, was wrong. But you're still like in his universe, and you're asking the questions that he says you should ask. So Heidegger's kind of like that. I feel like, uh, you know, Dick Hart was also that way. I feel kind of bad because like I don't actually read that widely, and when I do, it's like I kind of confine myself to the classics. That's kind of what I'm saying. Have you heard I'm of gonna go read about Indexed philosophy online? Not because no. I don't like the okay, but like that's kind of what I'm saying. You know, I'm sure they have like really awesome ideas. It's just like not because I don't like the the book on the internet. You know, I'm sure they have like really awesome. So like for a while, I kind of thought like, oh, I don't want to do that because my dad did it. So like for a while, I kind of might actually want to do that. One thing that my dad did actually for a while. College, yeah, I was a carpenter. I kind of, yeah, I like doing that. Like, my senior year of high school, I did a volunteer trip with this organization called Habitat for Humanity. They're just really fantastic. They have this like really, really good like humanistic view. Like you know, we're here to help other people. They're just really like build communities. They have this like really, really good like humanistic view. Like you know, we're here to help other people. Like happy to build communities. You know, part of this organization. But just like enjoy the world. Like like not only you know, it's like happy to build. And then here I have a job. Just like enjoy the world. I like pounding nails, which is really awesome. Me and my coworkers like you know build the sets and stuff. Like, remember people talk about jobs and like yeah, which is the best job on campus. I mean, my coworkers like you know build the sets and stuff for the plays and like whenever people talk about jobs and like yeah, the best job on campus.